Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. So, technical difficulties, holy cow. I could not get Zoom to work at all. I see somebody popping in here, thank goodness. <laughs> it's Amy, hi Amy, hi Alyssa, welcome. I'm gonna bring you guys up on my screen. I tried and tried and tried and I could not get Zoom to work tonight. So we are back to Facebook Live. I hope we can go without any streaming. Um, hang on, somebody's just asking me. I'm on now where I am because it's like, what's going on, Kelly? And I, I'm, I know, right? So you didn't miss anything. I could not get this to work right tonight. It just kept spinning, spinning. It never would hook up to Facebook. So I'm really sorry for the delay. And I'm kind of happy to report, though, that I remained calm and I did not have any hot flashes. <laughs> so how are you guys doing tonight? Yeah, I'm seeing so many familiar names pop in. Thank you for your patience. What a frustrating situation, I'll tell you. I need to get my new webcam working, right? Yeah, that might. Well, I don't think that'll solve that problem, though. But maybe I'll have to try YouTube Live. I know that our screen was so nice last night with Zoom. And I'm wondering if it's because Zoom is super busy right now. You know, people are having dinner and they're doing Zoom family conferences with dinner. I know that's a thing right now. That could be causing the problems. The other thing I noticed is that um, I did a Zoom conference with my team earlier today. And when I went in to do this Zoom, yeah, Haley, don't don't log into Zoom. I'm using Facebook. I, I couldn't get it to work. Um, Haley's been helping me on from, you know, virtually. But anyways, when I went in to look at my, um, to get this Zoom ready to go, it was like I never ended the meeting this morning and I wondered why it never like saved it and gave me the recording. So maybe I messed something up there. I don't know. Good. I see Joanne from Florida is doing good. Excellent. How's everybody else doing tonight? I know that I had a pretty good day. Um, Lisa was stalking me waiting. I know. I've been trying really hard to get on here and it just wasn't cooperating with me. But like I said, I did not have a hot flash. So kept my cool, didn't get too panicky. I know I'm among friends. So I didn't get too worked up about it. Pam says she's doing just fine. She's just waiting for me. Yep. And uh, give it a good swift kick, Linda says. I know Linda, right? Mary Lynn says she may have her first recruit. Yay, Mary Lynn. I'm so excited for you. That's always exciting. And somebody buying our starter kit is never a bad thing because the value of the our starter kit, whether you're going to be a discount shopper or build the business out of it, is just a really good deal. And it's always fun to be part of something bigger, right? So if you join and, and under me or any of my team members, you get to be part of my team. And that's an awesome place to be. Uh, Terry says, I waited too and stepped away and then you were on. Yeah, well, you haven't missed anything. I'm just telling about, I couldn't get Zoom, Zoom to work. So now remember, whether you're watching now or later on the replay, click that share button for me. That really helps me out. I always appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up. That's always helpful. And by the way, I know that we've been trying to... Um, hi, Bill Fink. <laughs> Happy to see you here. I know that we have been um, talking about what be, maybe is causing all the problems. And some people thought that it was all the emojis from people clicking on the like button. Yeah, I'm not going to... I'm not going with that. And here's why. I was watching um, our CEO from Stamping Up Today did a Facebook Live on her personal Facebook page. And she had 900 plus people watching her. And everybody is hitting those emojis and the happy faces and the thumbs up are just going crazy. And she never had a problem. So... I just really don't think that's it. I just think that our internet servers are overlo overloaded with everybody doing Zoom conferences for dinner and family get-togethers and bless their hearts. You know, I think that's a great way to try and stay connected and not feel so isolated. So 
I just think it's servers. Servers are un overloaded. We're just going to have to deal with it, and I'm going to have to keep trying to figure out how I can fix it. So I will continue to work on that in between everything else. But um, yesterday I left you saying that I needed to get nine, nine videos done, and um, I didn't accomplish any of that. But I did start writing down all my dimensions. I'm going to start cutting my cardstock. So I had kind of a day. I had some team, team things going on today that were really fun. I always enjoy meeting with my team. And um, what else? I answered emails. I invoiced for my online kit class. By the way, if you are looking for something to do, buy the dock is a great masculine card or masculine bundle. This is this is one of the cards that I shared in my blog recently. It's a gift card holder. And here's that Amazon gift card that keeps trying to get away from me. Okay, it's a great gift card holder. If you're a demonstrator or just a business person, you could actually just put your business card in here. That's a really neat way to give it to somebody. I don't know. But anyways, my kit class is not closed yet. So if anybody's interested in that, you can find it on my blog, www.astampabove.com. And just look for online classes in that right-hand column. Thank you for the share, you guys. I see lots of people are sharing. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Hi, Joe. Always happy to have you here. You're good for my ego. You know that. So, anyways, um, I drew names from yesterday's Facebook Live. And I told you that I had another pack of the Parisian Blossoms designer series paper to give away. Look at how gorgeous that is. This has the champagne foil mixed in with it. My big winner today is Deb Anol. Deb, I know I say your name wrong all the time, but Deb is one of my team members and she is from, I don't know if your address is Appleton or Darboy, but it's not too far away from here. Deb, I am going to get this out in the mail to you tomorrow. So, and <clears throat> I also wanted to um, remind Kelly Guy, I need your address so I can mail you a half a pack of the Parisian Blossoms Designer Series paper. I have your prize ready to go in the mail, but I don't have your address, so please send that to me. And by the way, I, I hold these prizes for about two weeks, and if I don't hear from the person with their address in two weeks, I put them back into the mix to be given away again. So just so you know, I can't hang on to them forever. I see... Joanne is here from New Zealand. Good morning. Or good. Yeah, it probably is morning there. It is morning. Yes. Um, I almost said good morning when it's very late afternoon. So today I didn't get my videos done, but um, it's kind of how I roll. I'm, I'm a last minute procrastinator and then things always work out for me. So <laughs> I'm lucky that way, I guess. But um, I did take a nap. And I just woke up a little while ago and I went, oh, I have to do my Facebook Live because I had it done yesterday, remember? So that was kind of nice that I got to do that. And I woke up all refreshed and happy. And then what happened? I went outside. Steve said he needed my help. So I had to go outside and help him measure some stuff. He's getting ready to do our, um, get ready to dig the hole to pour concrete. So he was going to go borrow somebody's rototiller to break the ground up because it's super hard and get that started. So that's kind of exciting at our house. And then other big news in Menasha, Mims raised their prices on their hamburgers and their steak sandwiches a dollar. Steve said we're not going there anymore. And we laughed and laughed because of course we're going there. Their prices are dirt, dirt, dirt cheap. It's like this little tiny diner. They don't even have real um, dishes. They serve everything in a little paper, one of those little paper cone deals. And they don't take credit cards, it's cash. <laughs> they just raised their prices a dollar. It was so funny. We got a good laugh out of that. And um, yeah, what else happened? Oh, I know, I had to give Steve a haircut today. I shave his head. Well, I don't shave it, but I buzz it off with a buzzer. And then we have this little, this little thing that I go like this all over his head. And he says it massages it really nice. And I told him, I really like that little thing that goes all over his head. I'd like to feel it on my hair if it didn't like scalp me. But um, I told him, I said, you know, I'm really happy that you have this thing because if I die, I know that your hair care needs are going to be taken care of because he could do it himself every couple days. 
<laughs> and he was like, that's what you're worried about, huh? I'm like, well, it's just something that popped into my head. I don't know. <laughs> so he can take care of that all by himself. Yeah. I'm just looking to see if I have... Oh, I know. And then last night he promised me a massage, but I didn't go to bed because I was busy doing things. And so this morning he said to me, um, yeah, so you didn't want a massage, huh? And I said, well, I could use a massage because my neck has been kind of stiff lately. And I don't know what that's all about. But anyways, <laughs> I'm telling him how, yeah, my neck is stiff and I could really use that massage and I will take it. I'll take him up on the offer. And then he goes, he goes, well, you know, um, I think I have a pinched nerve because both of my arms are getting kind of numb and he does have some problems with his shoulders. And he said his arms are kind of going numb. He thinks he has a, and as he's rattling away telling me all about this, I just kind of looked at him and I said, this is not about you. This was about me. <laughs> he kind of went, Bleh. And we had a really good laugh over that, too. So it was a day here. He's in a good mood. That always makes me happy because when he's not in a good mood, you know how when you hang around people that are crabby, it's not so fun? I love it when he's in a good mood. <laughs> makes me happy, too. All right, I can't remember if I showed you guys this card. Did I show this to you? I think I might have. And Sharon's saying that your retail opened there today. Sharon, where are you located at? So... Oh, and Donna cuts her husband's hair, too. Yeah, it, I've been doing it for eons. Um, we are, our strip malls and other stores like that are opening up. Five people can be in the store at a time. <clears throat> so, and you know, I don't know. I just find that kind of interesting because if you go to Menards, it's wall to wall. There's people everywhere. Like, that is the one place. So, anyways, I don't think I showed this to you, did I? I thought I did. I brought it over to Haley and Jared and showed it to them. So, just in case I didn't. I don't... Why did my screen get dark? Oh, there it goes. It's just weird. Isn't this pretty? This is use, uses that See a Silhouette Designer Series paper that I've been using quite a bit lately. Yeah, very, very pretty. I love this. And then... The Hooray Words, I can't remember. Does anybody remember the name of that set? I'm going to see if I can grab it real quick here in the catalog because the dies are usually, yeah, here we go. Oh, yep. Well Written. Well Written is the set of dies, and it comes with these leaf things, these leaf dies too. So very, very pretty card. I actually got this from Sarah Douglas, and Sarah Douglas is the CEO or she's running Stampin' Up! right now. I don't know if that's actually her official title, but she's she's running Stampin' Up! And um, she said, I'm so excited about your $900,000 milestone. Did I, did I show this to you guys? I don't remember. Anyways, I know this congratulations comes a little late, but still so well-deserved. I'm so grateful you are part of Stampin' Up! Thanks for all you do to make a difference every day. Sending hugs, Sarah Douglas. And then she says, P.S. Little Valerie is adorable! I thought that was so cute. So it's kind of neat to know that your company is watching, you know, um, keep not, I don't want to say watching because that sounds kind of like sinister, but that your company is aware of what's going on in your life. I guess that's a really nice thing. And one other thing I can tell you about Stampin' Up! This was really sweet. When um, I was diagnosed with breast cancer, I don't know, a couple years ago, two or three, I can't remember. Um, one of the executive members of Stampin' Up! actually called me on the phone. Now, they have 50,000 demonstrators across the world or more. And one of their executive members called me to see how I was doing and just to let me know that they were aware and wanted to wish me the best. That is so cool, right? I know that it just really, really touched my heart. And Melanie says, supportive company. They are fantastic. So if you want to be part of something bigger and join my team, if you're not already a team member someplace, I would love to have you. You will absolutely love it. Oh, I think we're probably ready to stamp now. What do you guys think? And um, who is that? Deneen says she was diagnosed two years ago too. Yeah, it's all good. We're all good, right? I'm good. Everything's good. Little bump in the road. Things like that happen. I'm not going to lose my mind over them. Yeah. Just another battle in life. Life is full of battles. Oh, can you guys hear that jet? 
Like, that was really loud. Okay, I'm gonna unload, oh, my bin here. It's pretty heavy. Now, uh, let's see. Let me get my stamps out. They're kind of falling out all over the place here. Remember yesterday I used Over the Moon and the Love What You Do stamp set to make some really super duper cute fun fold cards. If you happen to miss that, you can find this on my blog. The video is there as well as the um, all the instructions, dimensions, and a complete shopping list. Both of these stamp sets are retiring, and I always like to show you guys stuff before it's not available anymore because I hate it when I see something later and go, oh, I never saw that. How come nobody showed that to me, right? So I'm showing you. That's my job. I have a wonderful job, don't I? And then we also had this one. And then I stamped up the envelope flap so it'll match. And that's where the Love What You Do stamp set comes in. I used this stamp right here and this stamp right here for my cow patches. Not cow pies. Cow patches. <laughs> there will be no cow pies in my stamping. I just want you to know that. Okay. I'm going to keep digging out all the things. I think you guys are going to love this project. It's super cute. It's pretty darn easy. And as usual, I received it as a gift. It came from one of my team members with a little bit of candy in it. That's, oh, here's the cow candy box. I've got my cow card right here. And by the way, I did put the correct dimensions Last night when I made that card, I actually cut it at 10 and 3 quarters, and I shouldn't have done that. It should have stayed at 11 inches. Okay, so it looks like our streaming is doing pretty good here, huh, on Facebook tonight. My screen looks good, so I hope so. It's so frustrating. Okay, let's turn this around. I think we, Cindy, Cindy or Kathy says no cow pies, no cow pies. We're ready to start some stamping. If you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. I'm going to flip this phone around. I'll let you know when you can open them again. And I'll let you know. Oh, this got really tight. Oh, hang on, guys. I was messing with my phone holder earlier because, whoops, somebody told me that I needed to make it closer to my projects. And I couldn't. It won't let me bring it down. So then I went and got the Leather Man. Do you guys have one of these? Yeah, I love this thing. It sits on our refrigerator. It's always available to me no matter what. And I went to kind of unscrew the thing so I could make my phone stand go lower. And this isn't wide enough. My phone stand is, anyways, my own personal problems, right? <laughs> okay, we are going to get busy here. Got all my little bits and pieces in here. Do, 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 do. Now, how many of you have the layering squares dies? Like I love all of our layering dies. If you're a new stamper, and I could give you a little bit of advice as far as dies go. Um, the layering square framelit dies, circles and ovals, along with the stitch shapes would be at the top of my list get them as you can afford them. I have used the layering dies more than any other dies. They're like my go-to dies. And I see Arliss just told me that, hang on, I just saw something from Arliss. Ooh, it won't let me go back. Um, about the, is it the Flying Angels Arliss? I think I just saw you talk about that. They're in our area. So that's kind of cool. That's what I heard. It was a, it was a big jet. Like it was loud. Anyways, I used you want to use just whatever fits the project or what you're going to stamp. And the square that I'm using tonight is almost one and a quarter by one and a quarter. And then I just chose the scalloped square that is going to frame that really cute. And look at it, it just fits right in there. That's kind of neat. I didn't know that. Anyways, um, I've got... My square's already cut out. So I've got Rich Razzleberry and Whisper White, and these are gonna layer together like this, okay? Then I need to bring in, hang on while I find my, oh gosh, you guys, I didn't even change this. I, don't, I like to have a clean one for you. I'm really sorry that I'm all dirty tonight. <laughs> At least my hands are clean. Yeah, I'm going to bring in my basic black ink pad here. 
and I've got the You're Utterly Fantastic. And I'll show you the little box that Lisa made for me, too. Let me stand up a second so I can... Oh, did I tell you guys you can open your eyes now? I'm really sorry if I forgot. I don't know that that stamped really great, so I'm going to try it again here. That looks better. Okay, got that stamped, and now I'm going to take the Classic Label Punch... If you're into punches, this is one of my favorites. Classic label. It's great for all those little sentiments. We're going to do that. And then I'm going to bring in some baby dimensionals. Let me see. I've got a whole pile of them. Here's some baby ones. My goodness. I need to use up these edges. Here comes our baby dimensionals. We're going to put these on the back. What did you guys have for supper? I just ate a yogurt and I'm still hungry. That's not a good sign. I didn't really have supper. I just was hungry and I don't like to be on here hungry because then it makes me a little twitchy. <laughs> More than normal. All right, now I have this piece and this piece is two inches by six and a half. All of these dimensions will be posted above this video later um, tonight. Plus, you'll always find them on my blog, so just know that, with pictures and a complete ingredient shopping list. This was six inch, six and a half inches. I'm going to push this all the way into our scalloped, nope, delightful tag topper punch. Okay, we're going to punch that out, and we're going to do it, oh shoot, hang on, don't do that yet. We need to do a little scoring, I forgot. So you want to score it first. We're going to score it at two and three quarters. Whew, I'm glad I remembered that. We would have just started over. Not a big deal, right? And three and three quarters. Two and three quarters and three and three quarters. So we've got two score marks there. I'm going to leave this right here because we're going to do a little bit more scoring. And then we're going to put the other end into our tag punch. And again, this one is called Delightful Tag Topper Punch, and we've got this. And now we're going to fold on those score lines. Okay, so this is what we have now. Pretty neat. Then we've got a little piece of Whisper White here, and this is... Um, hmm. Hang on a second. Okay, this is 3 inches by 2 inches. So we're going to score it at a half an inch and one and a half inches on the short side. And I actually wrote a little arrow right there so I wouldn't mess this up. <laughs> Not going to lie. <laughs> okay, so a half an inch and one and a half inches. Okay, and now we're going to cut this in half. So you're going to end up with two of them that are two by one and a half, just like this, okay? So one and a half by two inches, I just left it together so I could score once and cut and have them done. And then I'm gonna grab my little eraser and erase my little arrow so that I wouldn't mess these up. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to fold on these score lines. I'm gonna get out my bone folder and make sure that I'm getting good crisp edges here. Just fold over your tabs. There we go. We did these. Get that nice and crisp. And all we're gonna do here is a little bit of cow stamping. Cow patches, not pies. We're gonna do a little bit of that. I'm going to use black ink here and we're going to stamp these little watercolor marks on our tag. And you can actually do this before, whoops, oh, whew, that was close. You can do this before you do the punching and um, scoring, probably a good idea. And then here comes the little cow pie. No, not cow pie, cow patches. There we go. And I just love that this is used this way because that is totally not what these are intended for. They're intended to stamp on the flowers, okay? That's what they're for, but they make great 
cow patches too. All right, I'm gonna close that up. Now we're gonna put our box together. And if you want to, you could stamp the sides, but it's not gonna be that important because they're gonna kind of get covered up. So if I were you, I'd use tear and tape, but for purposes of this video, I'm just going to use, whoops, let's put our glue right here. I'm just gonna use a little bit of liquid glue because it's gonna be faster for me. And then you're gonna take this just like this, and we're going to put it right on the side of our tag like this. See what I'm doing there? You wanna square it up nicely, make sure that it's nice and even. Whoops, it's getting away from me here. And straight. There we go. Okay, so that's one side. Here comes our other side. I haven't actually made one of these yet. Um, my, Like I said, my team member, my friend Lisa made this. So this is new. This, we're all doing this for the first time together. Okay, and I'm gonna put this right in here. And also right over here. And again, I'm just kind of holding on to it to square it up nicely. And here we have this cute little box, okay? Now, the other thing that I wanted to do that Lisa did is I have a piece of our Regals Designer Series paper. These, this package in the Regals is still available, available in our online store. Let's see if I can talk. Still available in our online store. This is a one by six inch piece of Designer Series paper. And all I'm going to do front and I think I want this one to be the front so I'm gonna start my designer series paper right here and I'm going to fold it over the edges. Now, if you want to in the written um, dimensions I will have scoring dimensions on here for you so you can score this on all the right places if you want to but you know what I just find that this is super simple to just fold it over the edges now if you're gonna make 20 of these I might leave my whole sheets of designer paper bigger and do all the scoring and then cut them in one inch strips. Just a little tip there. When you're doing assembly line work, that is a good way to do it. But when you're just doing one, this will work just fine. And again, I'm just going to pull this snug, pinch it over, and then make sure that it's straight. So now I have this looks like this. And we're going to add some glue to it, just like that. And again, I'm going to make this the back. I don't think it really matters, but you just want to center it on the box part. Get this on here quickly so you can slide it around if you need to to make it even. And I see that mine, yep, there we go. Okay. Now, in a perfect world, you'd want this to meet in the middle, but it doesn't really matter. Not for this project. Look how cute that is. I love this. Now, we're going to take that little square and we're going to grab our cow with the flower. That's the one I used on the card. And we're going to ink that up. You might want to stamp this first and then die cut it because I don't know how well this is going to go. Because <laughs> you can't really see what you're doing here. Let's see how I did. Oh, I'm a professional. <laughs> it worked out okay. So just that teeny weeny little bit of cow there. And then we're going to color our cow in just like we did last night. And we have some, I have the light rich razzleberry. I'm going to use this on my daisy. Oh, hang on. I've got somebody popping up on my messages there that's covering up my screen. Okay, and my screen isn't scrolling again, which it is lovely. Color in this cute little flower. I need to figure out what I'm going to have for supper. Steve made sauerkraut and whatever, kielbasa sausage. Can I just say ew? Like, I don't like sauerkraut. I like cabbage, but not sauerkraut. It's icky. <laughs> And it's just my personal preference. I know people like sauerkraut. But um, he also made a hot dish the other day with broccoli and cheese and cauliflower and chicken. 
And that's really good. And it's also wonderful because you can eat it and not feel guilty. There's no carbs in it except the cheese. It doesn't have like a sauce. The liquid is like a chicken broth. So it's really good. It was good when I was um, losing weight. It was a really good thing to eat. Okay, whoops, I'm gonna use, oh, I got the right end. So now I'm using, I use the light black and the granny apple green dark, and now I'm coming in with the ivory blend. This is a great skin tone marker or cow face marker. <laughs> yeah, cow face, skin tone, all the same. Look at how cute it is, I love it. Okay, last but not least, I want to, before we're done with this little tiny layer, I want to use one of the rhinestones. I put rhinestones on my card because why wouldn't you? And now I'm just going to come in here and I think I'm gonna grab one of the big ones. Yep, that's what I wanted. Little rhinestone, look at how precious that is, you guys. Isn't that cute? And then we're gonna grab this and add our little cow to it. that is it's so cute then I need to grab some more dimensionals oh look minis I don't want minis this time it's a crapshoot when you go under more minis oh and look black ones we'll use some black ones that's fine I'm gonna put a couple dimensionals on the back of my cow layer and where did our little box go right here this is going to cover up that seam, so it just doesn't even matter. I'm going to put this right here. Make sure I can get it straight. Look how cute it is! Now, we need something to tie this on the top. So, I don't know. When I think of farm, I think of binder twine. I used to, we used to raise horses, and so there was a lot of binder twine in my life, as well as hay, which I'm allergic to. That was fun as a child. I'm going to cut this off, and I'm going, this is, oh, by, by the way, this is our burlap braided trim, and this is really neat because it frays on the ends, or you can leave it together if you don't want it to fray. I just cut it at a diagonal here. And I'm going to feed it through. What are you going to put in this little box? Well, you could put a couple um, of the Hershey Nuggets. Remember these? Put a couple of these wrapped in designer paper. What Lisa put in hers was one of those little mini candy bars, like a Halloween mini candy bar. Yeah, that'll go in here too. I'm going to take this and just tie it in a loose knot. Just like this and then trim it off. I think I'll make this one just a little bit shorter. If you want to, you can leave it just like this, or you can fray those ends, whatever makes you happy. If you like frayed ends, you fray your ends. Fray them, fray them. <laughs> is that not super duper cute? Now this, together, is gonna be just the cutest little gift pack, right? I love that. And this is perfect to give to somebody like that you normally, oh, wait, <laughs> we forgot this. That I was saying, it's perfect to give to somebody that you normally wouldn't buy a present for. You're not really buying a present. You're taking tools and making something a little special. Maybe your neighbor, maybe if you ever get to see that person again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not really kidding. It could be true. But... Um, just a little gift like this with a card. Another thing, you could make some of these up and put some candies or something in them. Make a hope you're hanging in there card, just like I did. You know, on the inside of this, this card just says, how's it going? Right? And you could give this to anybody that you appreciate, a friend that you miss, um, anything like that. And then the other thing I thought about this little cutie patootie is if you make your two by six and a half inch tag layer longer. This could be taller. You might be able to, yep, sideways, this would fit in there. Um, a gift card, you could put a gift card in it if you made it taller. You could wrap some tissue paper around the gift card, stamp your tissue paper up to match whatever your card looks like and put a gift card in there. Or good cold 
cash. That will fit in there just fine. And who doesn't love cash? But cash is boring to give as a gift, so make it pretty. Then it's a lot more fun. What do you guys think of that little jewel? So, oh, I was going to show you. This is the box that Lisa made for me. She used the in colors. This one is actually the Seaside Spray or Purple po purple Posy, I think. And she used the little gems, the in color faceted gems on her little cow. And, of course, the in color designer series paper. But I just thought this was the sweetest little thing. And I wanted to make one to match my cow card from last night. Isn't that adorable? Yeah, I thought so too. Ah. Okay, I'm going to check and see. Is anyone else having sound problems? I don't see... Oh, Robin says it's breaking in and out. What? How's the sound going, you guys, for the majority of you? Is it okay? I don't see anybody else talking about sound problems, Roxanne. I'm so sorry that's happening. Oh, Diane said it's breaking up on and off. So I'm glad I guess I'm getting off of here. Hang on, I'm going to turn you around again. So I'm not talking to the back of your head. You know I don't like that, right? Oh, I'm losing my crown. <laughs> we can't lose our crown. Okay. Uh, I'm to go out back in and then it won't be weird. Yeah, I'm going to have to get this you guys. I'm not quite sure what happened to my room really quick. It didn't quit. And um, I could have a big problem with trying to share it with my team because it was going on all day since 10.30 this morning. That might use up some of my recording space. You don't get so much space to record these on Zoom. I feel like you go on and on and on and on. I've proven many times. Yeah, I know. Debbie says the sound is good, but Zoom is better. I'm completely agree. Haley said I am breaking up. So I guess I'm glad that we're getting to the end, right? Okay. Yep, I see myself freezing up. Maybe this is as long as I can go at a time. All right, you guys. I'm going to let you go. I will be back here sometime tomorrow. I don't know what we're going to make. It's going to be a surprise for all of us, including me. <laughs> oh, quick question, Vicky says. Quick question. Um, can I buy your PDF for the Buy the Doc Kit class? You cannot. That is the only class that I have that is only available in a kit. So I'm sorry, but that's the one thing that I do not sell. It's all kit. So let me know if you have any other questions, guys. Thank you so much. I hope the rest of your Tuesday goes well. Today's Tuesday, right? Yep, it's Tuesday. Hope the rest of your Tuesday goes well, and I will be back tomorrow. Thank you.